फ्रेंड्स वेलकम इन दर्ल्ड ऑफ फार्मसी विद्यार्थी मित्रों औषध निर्माण शास्त्र जगह सामान स्वागत है सो टुडे वी विल सी हाउ टू ऑपरेट द इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट इज आई आर ओके सो वी हैव आई आर दैट इज इको ए टी आर दिस इज मेड अप ऑफ ब्रुकर इज वन ऑफ द टॉप मोस्ट आई आर यूज थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड इंस्ट्रूमेंट इट इज मेड अप ऑफ ब्रुकर जर्मनी and uh, it is connected to pc of course here is a software so first of all we need to start the computer pc and then we have to start the instrument here you can see instrument is started instrument chalu kelele green light tum bagu shakta okay ani computer madhe je software ahe okay ya ir sathi ya ahe opus Okay, now I can click on the this software. Double click. Okay. So it asks for the password. Here I will enter the password. Okay. This is the software. So when we start the IR, the automatically that IR that software start the calibration or the validation of that uh, instrument. okay here you can see in green color it perform different tests okay green color finally if we get a green color mark then it indicate it is okay and the another most important thing here you can see in ir room there must be the one indicator that is for relative humidity if the environment is wet then in that environment we could not perform the ir okay so here you can see the software it, it is a opus okay opus software is used here and uh, here you can see the accessory identified performance test passed okay whenever you start the instrument javes apan instrument start karto so at that time this software automatically perform the different tests okay that is performance test and whether the instrument is in okay condition or not okay that is uh, automatically performed by this software and now next thing we can do is the major background okay jasa ev madhe apan background scan karto so you can see here instrument instrument varti this is okay position he ja hai knob ne apan thoda sa khali geu shakto purna touch karaycha nahi because this is the crystal uh, which cost at least 1.5 lakh okay so this is very expensive crystal so this knob should not touch to this one and uh, now i will start measuring the background now i will click on the major background okay so here you can see in green color background scanning is started scan 1 2 3 4 okay and so on it is going on 25% 29% so jase uv madhe apan scan karto okay blank reading geto in that way uh, in same way we take here the background okay next step is here you have to click on this tab major in that measurement first of all we again we have to take the background measurement again start background okay so just wait for a moment already we have done this but whenever we click on this then again we will take background that is like a blank in uv spectroscopy so just wait for a moment so okay so now we have performed the background whenever you have performed the background here you can see to perform the background measurement make sure that no sample in the measurement position of the spectrophotometer so here you can see there is no sample whenever we do the background measurement there should not be any sample so in correct way we have performed the background measurement now we can start the sample measurement so before starting the sample measurement we have to take the sample here you can see this is the sample i got uh, of uh, a research work one of the one of the phd students so now i can take this sample now you can say this is the uh, from this sample tube i have taken sample here 
So now we will do the sample analysis but uh, before starting the sample analysis we have to take this knob at this position. So now I will take the sample for analysis purpose. I have to put you have to put the sample here on this uh, crystal okay so I'll put this sample on this crystal okay so need to spray it properly on this crystal okay actually a very small amount of sample can be analyzed by using this IR instrument the highly sensitive instrument and this is actually used to do functional functional group identification okay so actually we have a small amount of sample okay. so actually very less amount of sample is required for this analysis and here solid sample is there okay so how to analyze this sample we have to move this knob again at this position and then we have to keep like this one okay so now we have to start sample measurement so you can see here there is option that is start sample measurement you have to click on the start sample measurement here actually we will get the FTIR graph okay so just wait we will get because actually here again okay again there is another tab start measurement now actual measurement is started okay FTIR graph okay so just wait we will get because actually uh, here again okay again there is another tab start measurement now actual measurement is started okay so here you can see the sample scan uh, percent in percentage how many scans are there the progress you can see so now we'll just wait for a moment we will get the graph actually FTIR spectrum we'll get okay whether we can take uh, absorbance or we can take uh, transmittance okay they, that uh, options are available in this menus okay so this is absorbance we can take it as a uh, transmittance also okay so here you can click on this pick picking option okay interactive pick picking then 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 we will get the this uh, readings okay here so here you can see uh, this absorbance spectrums are there and after clicking here on a pick interactive pick picking we will get the graph like this one but this is absorbance so if we want the transmittance okay in IR if we want the transmitters then we have to set up the measurement parameters here okay so here you can see advanced there are many options display background okay so actually we need the transmitters so there is option here is a you can see the result spectrum which type of uh, spectrum we want actually we want absorbance or the transmitter so here we want the transmittance they, hence I click on the transmittance and we have to uh, click atmosphere compensation also and uh, I can click here accept and exit okay then now whatever the next pick we will get we will get it as a transmittance okay here we have set uh, as a transmittance now we can start the measurement measurement okay start sample measurement now we will get the picks which are as a which having the transmittance okay as a wave number so here you can see uh, now we will get the graph as a transmittance okay so sample scans are going on so just wait for a moment so here we will get this as a transmittance ok so <clears throat> now you have to click here interactive pick picking ok so we will get these picks you can see these are the picks we will get ok 
now we can save this graph okay save file as okay we can choose the path where we have to save this particular file here i save here okay, okay. then sample we can give file name sample description as one 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 okay and save it just do it save files okay we can choose path here so now i have taken the another gram that is overlay so to save this file okay, file save file okay just wait so how to save the file on file we have to click and save file as okay save file as now you have to choose where to save that file and in in this place sample description dot 306 okay so in sample description we can write it as r1 okay so now i will save it save okay now it is saved at your uh, required destination interactive pick you can interactive pics okay now you can get pics here okay here you have to click on the store okay you will get this spectrum these are the wave numbers okay so this is all about the operating or handling of the IR instrument you can save this file again if you want file save as okay with uh, that spectrum numbers okay you in this rank sample description you can give the number as uh, whatever you want r2 and you can save okay this is automatically will get saved so students this is all about the ir instrument okay so uh, this is the ir of brooker another irs of simad zoo or other company actually the handling of, of ir instrument is not much difficult as compared to the other instruments okay if you know how to handle the software then you can operate it easily so thank you friends for watching this video and i think this video will be highly useful to you people thank you